Mike, and to all of you wonderful people at New Hope Central Oahu, congratulations on your 25th anniversary. We're here at Windy Maui doing some filming, but I had to stop and congratulate you because what began as a small group for midweek services back in the day is now a thriving ministry centered in Wahiwan, but it's expanding throughout central Oahu. We're so grateful for the new leadership with Mark Palampo and his vision and ministry. This is so promising. And how glad we are that Mark takes after his mother. <laughs> and furthermore, a sign of God's favor can be witnessed in the church experiencing God's presence as never before. And the Hope Center, with your outreaches helping transforming people's lives throughout, even the Cane Street Cafe that you have, to meet people right where they are. And you're passing the baton of faith to the next generation. Your future is bright. We can hear God say to the New Hope Central Oahu people, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans not for your calamity, but for your welfare, that you might have a future and a hope. God bless you as we send our aloha from all our New Hope churches around the world. Happy anniversary. Amen. Well, I want to say a big mahalo to Pastor Wayne Cordero for those beautiful words of encouragement. And uh, I, too, thank the Lord that I take after my mom every day. <laughs> but if it wasn't for both mom and dad, uh, none of this would be happening right now. So I actually want to invite them up to the stage at this moment to recognize them. And uh, the thought did cross my mind. You know, after countless paddles that you've given me over the years, I finally get to return the favor. But the paddle says, Pastor Michael M. Palumpo, in recognition of the 25th anniversary of New Hope Central Oahu, it is through his pioneering commitment and dedication that lives have been transformed for God's glory. So on behalf of the church, we want to just thank you for your selfless uh, radical journey that you embarked on 25 years ago, and I pray that this weekend you're able to take in just the countless lives that have been transformed through your ministry, through your service, and so thank you guys, and I pray that you would just uh, receive our gratitude and our appreciation for all of you. So, <laughs> Amen. Do you like to share a word? Yeah. Yeah, I sure would. Well, thank you guys so much. Mona and I just are so grateful to you for the honor of being your pastors for the last 25 years. What a journey it's been. <laughs> this was my uh, greatest prayer that I'd be able to hold it together just to share with you our hearts. Um, I just wanted to say how, you know, how incredibly bright the future looks for the church. Um, we see the next generation rising up, amen? amen? It's so cool to see that. We contended for that, and uh, it's happening. And so it's beautiful to see how as the, uh, the sands of time kind of dwindle down into the bottom of our hourglass, um, we see another generation who's got a lot of sands of time left in the top part of their hourglass. And so the next 25 years looks really, really good. And um, I wanted to share something pretty profound, actually. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I was um, helping to teach the class with Bona in the children's art classroom over there. And I found something in the room. It's right here. a quarter. And I immediately thought, hmm, 25. Hmm. Right? And then I was like over there at the spark table over there, and I was sitting in one of the chairs. I looked in the chair. I found another quarter. <laughs> and then I was doing laundry <laughs> Looked inside the laundry machine. Inside the washing machine was another quarter. So these 
This is not some kind of preacher's you know, gimmick. I, this is, I'm telling you the honest God truth. I found these three quarters. And the Lord immediately just began to highlight to me three quarters, three, three groups of 25 years. And I said, Lord, what are you trying to say to me? And he said, it's not just for you. It's for all of us. And in the, last, in the first t- 25 years of your life, the Lord said, you're trying to get your life together. Mm-hmm. You want to get married. You know, you're, you're, you're trying to build a career, I guess. You're trying to figure out what your career is, finish college and all that kind of stuff. That's the first 25 years. That's the first quarter. In the second quarter of your life, he teaches you to give your life away. So he's teaching you to die to yourself and give your life away. And I said, Lord, what about the third quarter? So in my last quarter, this is what I felt like he said. He said, this is the quarter where you learn to love deeply, that you make every effort to rest and love the people around you deeply. So those are the three quarters of our lives. And uh, I impart that to you as my, let's say, last teaching of my 25 years. <laughs> I'm, I'm not done teaching. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> Might be back in this next series if Mark asks. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just saying that in, the first, in this 25-year anniversary, I believe that's what the Lord wanted to show us, that your life occurs in three levels of discipleship. Amen. And as I, as I close, I want to do something that, um, that will express how I really feel about this moment. Can you hold it? Did you want to say something? Sure. Okay. Would you say amen to that? Amen. amen. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. We love you, Amen. amen. <laughs> this moment was uh, initially supposed to be a surprise, but word of advice if you're going to surprise anyone is... Don't include them in the text thread when you're planning the surprise. And I won't say who included him in it, but her initials are P. Lori. Um, <laughs> then again, it was her idea to do all of this, so it was her surprise to give away. And we just wanted to honor you both tonight. And thank you for that powerful expression tonight. Uh, 